Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. The, I just did a video on this on the file and we changed this bitmap and I stated in that video that the shadow is really, really pixelized and rough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our nudge factor on like, with nothing selected, we're gonna select it like on four inches. And we're gonna grab this text and move it up and move it up. And then we're gonna select it all and we're gonna to go to object and break the four objects apart. You can see there's four objects, there's really only two because the shadow is one of them. So what we're gonna do now is grab this shadow and move it out of the way on both cases. Let's move it out of the way quite a bit further. Now, all you have to do to make a shadow, instead of using one of the shadow tools, is now we're gonna set our nudge factor on like 0 0.02, and we're gonna control D and make a duplicate of that. And I don't understand why that's coming up. It's telling me the font. And I'm gonna make the copy black by right clicking, but then I'm gonna to go to object order and back a page. So it put the black in the back of the blue. And because I set my nudge factor real little, now I can take the blue and I'm gonna click one time over and one time up. Now, if you look at the shadow, I still have that white band around it that's part of the font, but look how clear the shadow is. Now we did move it but if we group this together, control G, you could actually, I don't understand that, but it's move that. Well, I didn't group it together evidently. So let's make sure we group it together and we can move it back that minute that little movement that we move. Same thing on here, control D to make a duplicate, make the duplicate black, go up to object, order back a page, our nudge factor is still set low. So now we can grab the blue and I'm gonna move it up and over. So now you have that exact shadow. We're gonna actually move it back over to where it kind of was and maybe down. Cause that way when now, I can't remember what my nudge factor was while ago, but you can very easily grab it and put it back into the birthday card. And if you just look at the difference of the shadow, where this is all clean, slick, especially if you're gonna print it, it's gonna show that jagged edges. And also it's not even a, what it is, it says it's a true black, but it doesn't look black. And I might be overstepping my bounds. He might've wanted that, but I would not think so. And somehow I did not get the shadow of the other one. So let's go back. So let's select it all and then I'm going to hold down the control button and it's going to put it pretty much where it was. I still haven't got the black shadow. That's really weird. Let me back up. The black shadow is there. Maybe I got to select it all bigger. Control G to group it and then let's move it down. And you could hold down the control button and move it. Start moving and then hold down the control button. And then you could also put it anywhere you want it. Now we have the black shadow. And to me, that looks 10 times better, especially if we take away that yellow background, you can much, much, much better looking to me. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.